Cool breeze and Chennai doesn't go hand in hand. And you know what? Maruti Suzuki cars and sunroofs didn't go hand in hand. But with this, the all new Brezza, things are about to change. Mind you, it's not Vitara Brezza anymore for the good. Just a couple of Brezzas here in the East Coast Road, Chennai. Hello and welcome back to Shutter Drives. This is Zahur Hassan. I'll tell you what happened in the Maruti Suzuki boardroom. They made two checklists. Checklist one had everything that people want right now in a car. And checklist two had everything that their cars had. And then they realized that none of the checklists match because their cars did not have anything that people want. In a nutshell, this Maruti Brezza is the summary of exactly what people want right now. I'm just looking at that WhatsApp message. Where is it? There was a WhatsApp message, a WhatsApp phone that said, if you buy a car and park it and lo don't look back at it, you bought a wrong car. Very true. And honestly, if I had bought the earlier Brezza, I don't think I would have looked back at it. But things are about to change with this car. Trust me, it's a gorgeous car. And I really mean it. And check this out in the flesh. You will love it even more. Especially, something that I really, really appreciate here is the minimalistic use of chrome in this car. And that's where Maruti has decided that they are going to attract or rather cater to both the audience. One, the people who love chrome and some people like us who hate chrome. And that's why this minimalistic use of chrome is the perfect recipe. So getting straight away to the exteriors of this Brezza, you do get twin projector setup for the headlamps. And then there is this super duper thick grille, uh, which is finished in piano black, accompanying this thin chrome strip on top. And both of this, they work together very, very nicely and tell you that, hey, we have made a very nice looking car and most of the people are going to love it. And trust me, if you have a survey of 100 people and ask how many people like this Brezza or the other, other older Brezza, everybody is going to tell that this Brezza makes much more sense in terms of the exterior looks. Now we'll move slightly downwards and this is the fog lamp. It is a halogen fog lamp. It's not a problem as such. In fact, I'm happy that they're at least offering a fog lamp because a lot of manufacturers these days, they decided that we'll offer everything in a car, we'll offer ventilators, everything, but we will remove fog lamps because people don't want to drive the cars in fogs anymore. With jokes apart, yes, fog lamps have been omitted off late and you have this cladding here in the front, which is a silver cladding and this cladding and this cladding act exactly the same role as these two things, these two people here are doing. There's a silver black and there's a silver black. Trust me, these small details make a lot of difference. This entire combination makes the Brezza look really, really good, especially in this super hot red color. We have two options, either the new flagship color of Brezza, which is like kind of green or this. I told them that we want a red car itself because this car looks absolutely striking in red color. But you know what, more than front, I think it's the back of this car that does wonders. So this is the rear of the Brezza and trust me, it's very, very, very good looking when you check it out in person. I won't deny the fact, I know that looks are subjective. If you like something, I might not like it. If I like something, you might not like it. But I'll tell you something, the probability that you will fall in love with this red if you check out the car in person is very, very high. What I really, really loved is, Maruti has decided that, okay, let's not complicate things. Let's not do it the next on way of the light coming like this, going like this, going like this. Let's keep it very straight and simple. Let's keep the flat out architecture for the rear tail lamps. And since this car has a relatively boxy design in the rear, this exact straight flat out design for the rear lamp really, really gel very well. This blackened part that you see here on the tail lamps, this plus this plus this give a very complimentary appeal to the car thus making the car look very very nice and extremely extremely elegant so not everything is good in Brezza's rear there's only one main problem that is this B R E Z Z A. it's like you're telling the driver hey which car you're driving Dri driver is coming back and telling okay it's the B R E Z Z A Brezza I mean it's too big and wide and it's kind of occupying more than half of the rear space of this car I really wish Maruti should have kind of you know closed it made a small Brezza nice font and stuffed it somewhere here because this is diluting the otherwise lovely, elegant Brezza's exteriors. And then uh, you do have a reverse camera. Forget reverse camera is too mainstream. But like I said, one of the thing in that checklist was 360 degree camera. So Pe Maruti was like, okay, people want 360 degree camera. Let's give 360 degree camera also. And that is something so not Maruti because Maruti was not known to plonk in features. And now they're like, 
just sell what people want will offer everything in it so yeah another small thing and which is nice thing is this 360 degree camera it's so nicely tucked in inside so nicely tucked in inside that i had to figure out ki okay where is the camera is it some invisible camera or something or what just like mr india and then you have the parking sensors in the rear and then there is this cladding here overall it's a very nice design and one thing that i really really appreciate here is these small vertical lines here this small detailing and this small small detailing is what make the car look good and yes big thumbs up on the brezas exterior uh, definitely deserving 4.5 out of 5 so talking about the side of the breza i went to the other side and i'm like what should i talk about the side of this car what is nice about this car then i realized that okay there's nothing very very fancy to talk about but that said you get 16 inches of alloy wheels and these are black and silver and i genuinely feel that there is a too much of black here compared to what the silver mixes because when you try to add black elements in a car they start to look sporty i mean it starts to get a sporty feel into that car and i feel that you know it's nice it's good but probably little more of silver elements would have done wonders for this that's it it's a personal opinion and then you get side when you get request sensors which is a good thing which is a very good thing in fact a lot of not every manufacturer take the audacity to plonk in features like this and then this is the dual tone color with other two colors this is the black and out mirror which looks very good and yes in case you want a sober a slightly more sober looking breza just pick the monotone colors that is the red so talking about the panel gaps of the breza although there are panel gaps there are consistent but i would like to iterate that the gaps are slightly more than what it should have been for a car of this segment and then the bigger issue is when you go downwards there is this cladding which not only has a lot of panel gap but the panel gap is not even like for example when you close the door the door is not 100% straight there is some inclination outwards so that is something that is kind of bothering uh, here especially for people with ocd but apart from that this part is fine this is where things would have been slightly better so the breza does get a proper door pocket that can accommodate a 1 liter bottle but what's nicer and interesting is there is a provision so that the bottle does not fall off like this so what happened is uh, when maruti was deciding that okay we want to make the breza more sporty more sporty they did everything possible black 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 and then someone was like hey we can't have a sporty car without having roof rails so they decided that, yes let's do that let's add roof rails also for the breza so the breza gets roof rails which is again silver and black and it looks really good on this car it really really enhances the appeal of the car so keeping the sporty theme in mind maruti suzuki decided that hey let's add shark fin antenna also in the car it, may, it will make it look more sporty so there is a shark fin antenna and now i realize that the roof is completely blacked out which is very good in looks and then i am so freaking happy to see a sunroof in a maruti suzuki car finally and big thumbs up to maruti suzuki for taking the extra effort and doing something which has been long pending because trust me these days sunroof is very very important i could go overboard and come up with an analogy and tell that earlier what was happening is in the factories they should be like okay engine mounted chassis mounted gearbox mounted seats mounted and now it's like okay engine mounted sunroof mounted it's that important you know sunroof is so freaking important these days that people do not want to buy a car without sunroof and that's why you see more than 50% of the cars they are like selling with sunroofs only in spite of the cars being expensive that's how important this feature is and i would like to again tell you for the last time that big big shout out to the team for getting this done although this gets severe cosmetic changes inside and out the engine largely has remained the same churning out 103 ps of power and 138 newton meters of torque as expected you do not get hydraulic studs or in this car so this breza was always known to have spacious interiors but the thing is when we go out on a road trips now all my friends they get so many bags so many bags that there's no space to keep in the boot at all everybody keeps the bags in the front leg with their under legs and all so that's why boot space is very important in car and that's why the breza gets 328 liters of boot space on paper and practically it's actually usable because you can stuff in a big bag one uh, cabin bag and two chota mota bags like this which makes it good enough for a car of this size so maruti suzuki does know that you know a lot of people are preferring that they get nicer interiors in their cars and that's why they have plonked in the breza with everything possible that this segment can offer except things like leather seats i really wish that we got leather seats because leather seats offer a different level of premiumness in a car 
so that elevates the premiumness in the car. I think uh, Maruti Suzuki should have offered a leather seat at least in the top end variant and at least a uh, fall leather, as in a uh, kind of you know art leather or artificial leather. So Maruti has finally decided to add wireless charging to their Brezza, and once you keep the phone here, you get an orange and blue light. Orange light means that the phone is not placed properly, so it will ask you to place the phone properly. But in the blue light, it means that the phone is ready to charge and it's charging. So it's a very interesting thing indeed. So you do get the flat bottom steering wheel and there are these buttons which have been uh, there since the days of desire. Uh, I think uh, these buttons being accommodated inside the steering wheel here would be something much better. And talking about the accommodation, there are two big, big uh, knobs here for trip meter reset. And I think that it's high time that these two knobs vanish off from Audi Suzuki cars because you can reset the trip meters, you can do those things from the buttons inside the steering wheel. So I think that is one thing that could have been implemented in the Brezza facelift because everything else in this car is very, very modern in terms of the heads-up display, in terms of the wireless charging or anything. It's just, it's just very good. But uh, yes, like I said before, like these small things could have been slightly better. And talking about the interiors in general, you do get hard plastics, yes. So there is a silver and uh, dark brown combination that is there here. And this is kind of nice and good, but this brown is slightly off-beat and not sure if everybody is going to like this color palette here. The driver uh, power window switches have an inclination, slight inclination, so that they are facing the driver. So this is the 9-inch infotainment system here. Firstly, the layout is very nice, it's very intuitive and uh, even the touch response is good so you can actually swap things from here to there and there to there and not just that uh, the connectivity options are actually good we just uh, connected a couple of phones here and they connected seamlessly i mean you can configure alexa here like basically there is an inbuilt alexa not just that like for example you can uh, talk to the alexa at your home and tell it hey i want to start the car i want to switch on the ac and things like that and that's going to do it basically alexa connectivity remote alexa connectivity uh, can you open the sunroof Sorry, I still didn't get that. Please say your command again. Uh, turn on AC. This function is not supported through voice commands. Please so, use manual controls. Goodbye for now. Bye bye. So, like she said, ki, there are some controls which cannot be done through voice commands and uh, most of them have to be done uh, physically itself. Talking about physical, so there are a couple of physical buttons here uh, for basic controls like AC and the climate control and things like that. And uh, even for the blower level, there are physical buttons, which is a good thing so that when you're driving, you don't have to be distracted and press randomly the other touchscreen. Mein, and you can just have the physical buttons to do the job for you. So let's check out the music system of the all new Brezza. Here we go. So talking about the music system feedback, it's decent enough. Most of the people will find it acceptable, no problem at all. Uh, in fact, the vocals are good at high volume. But the problem is that uh, the bass is not that very crisp when you're talking about uh, songs with higher bass. I think that's where uh, the issue lies. But apart from the higher bass where higher punch is expected, overall the music system is going to satisfy 95% of the people, that's for sure. Because you've seen cars with a segment above which cannot come close to what this is currently. So finally, the Brezza or rather a Maruti Suzuki car gets a sunroof. Very good, big thumbs up there. But the problem is that the sunroof is small. The sunroof is actually small in size. And uh, yes, the competitions do offer panoramic sunroofs, bigger sunroofs, but it's not necessarily that every car has to be plonged in with the panoramic sunroof. This is decent enough, but the size of this could have been slightly better. So talking about the seats, comfort, the seats are uh, fairly comfortable. Like I said, I wish we got the leather seats, the underside support is good, the contouring is good, everything is decent. Overall, a decent place to be in. Nothing uh, to pick point apart from smaller things like, you know, those two big, big levers for the trip meter adjustment and uh, these buttons here, which look very desirish. And yes, that's about it from the interior's point of view. So we want to check out the wiper clarity of Brezza because wipers play a very important role in safety when you're driving in range, especially in this monsoon. 
but there are no rains right now so what we have to do is we have to do with artificial rain that is we are going to put some water here on the glass and then we are going to quickly go I think in just one play itself the entire glass was cleaned and uh, this is just a demonstration I know that it's very different scenario when it rains but you got the gist of it so what's going to happen is even if it rains it's going to be very very clear you don't you see that there are no spots also from the left behind from the wipers which is a very good thing one of the strengths of Brezza was always the rear seat space the first thing is you can see so many cables here because cables are literally revolving our lives when it comes to charging devices and that's where things like wireless charging play a very important role and you get a type c and a usb charging point here which is a very neat move from maruti because not everyone might have usb uh, chargers or the type c so it's very convenient and uh, there is a hook here which is surprising and i've seen this after a very long time in a car and uh, there, there are these door pockets talking about this space yes there's ample legroom like seriously legroom is like really good and uh, there is decent headroom no problem at all and under the support is also good and talking about the armrest you do get an armrest with twin cup holders like i said the only thing that is needed in this car very badly is the presence of leather seats at least for the top end variant i mean that would have been much much nicer and better uh, so that said you do get headrests which are adjustable which is a nice thing for sure and uh, since there is a sunroof you will not feel claustrophobic when you're sitting in the back so we are driving the all new brezza now and first things first talk about the nvh levels so this is the manual car so which basically means that after a certain rpm if you don't shift the car is not going to upshift itself and that is a good thing for us to test the nvh levels so right now we are in third gear and it's all fine but lot in a second what downshift it and you realize that yes there is a good amount of sound that is coming inside the cabin okay so that is one thing that could have been slightly better talking about the acceleration of the car it's fine the mid range is healthy and as you go up the range the kind of tapers down which means that it's the mid range where you have a lot of room to play around in the brezza and the gear shifts are actually very good they are very good in the manual variant because firstly the clutch is lighter it's short which means that it's going to be a big boon in the city so not just that even the throws are not very long so this is the fifth gear and it's just good it's really good trust me like especially if you are coming from cars like say the bigger cars which have longer throws this is going to be much more convenient for you to check it out inside the city and then talking about the steering feedback as such so this is the electric power steering we got to check out the horn of this car so this is the horn of the car and it's not a wind tone variant it's a normal horn so that's it it's fine it's good enough no complaints as such but i think for a sporty looking car like this i'm not saying sporty car but a sporty looking car like this i really think that you know a wind tone would have made a lot more sense for the patchier appearance of this car so continuing the steering feedback so this is the eps that is the electric power steering and so i'm slightly disappointed in this area because maruti cars in general had lovely steerings in terms of the steering feedbacks for example the first generation swift rather lovely steering and i still love to drive that but i think over the period of time maruti has told that you know nahi yeah, let's make steerings lighter because that's what people want it because enthusiasts are less but the normal people they want a car which is big also which is easy to drive also and that's where cars and that's the reason cars are getting lighter steerings day by day and this also has succumbed to the peer pressure nothing different about it this is kind of expected and the cars which are left out in terms of good steering feedback even they are going to get diluted over a period of time so we're doing 100 kmph now so it's only in these speeds when the steering is heavier because below that uh, so i'll just try to reduce the speed i just have to look at a safe environment here there is in the speed all the way to 60 and it does not weigh up a lot i'll reduce it further raising all the way down to 40 matlab that's all see i'm tired i'm turning the steering and car is like okay i will turn i will turn so once you increase the speed the steering weighs up slightly better and once you go above the 100 mark is when the steering weighs up actually better but it's not possible to go 190 every single time and that's where the concern is so talking about the braking of the car the braking is actually quite good and it's not spongy just to give you a reference and not in comparison 
Scorpio, which is the one that we just drove Scorpio in, had spongy brakes. On the gas again, I'll just try to brake again. And yes, the car comes to halt in a proper span of time. But that said, I won't deny for the fact that in the first 20-30% of the brake travel, the bite is lesser. It's only after that when the car starts to wake up and brake properly. But it's not anything to complain as such. So that's about the manual transmission right now. We also do the automatic car, which has a six-speed gearbox. And uh, my experience with the automatic wasn't very pleasing. Like for example, if I have uh, to rate these two cars on 10 for the transmission, I would rate the manual a good nine because it very much deserves it for sure but the automatic would be somewhere around you know 6.5 types i'm just trying to be slightly pessimistic here but 6.5 types because in spite of being a decent six speed gearbox the lags are kind of noticeable in that you know it's not very smooth shifting or something you will notice you will realize that acha yahan pe gear change ho raha hai so if when you when that thought when that perception comes into your mind okay gears are being changed then you understand that you know it's not the smoothest of all because automatic they're supposed to you know go in a single zone like this that's how they will feel the gear shifts in the automatic so that was one concern but another concern that i found in automatic which is slightly more alarming is so there is a manual mode in that so what is happening is when you're trying to slot into the manual when you're slotting into the car into the drive mode you do it you tend to have a tendency to do it all the way like this and it goes off directly to the manual mode i wish uh, Maruti could have given a separate slot for the manual mode basically come here and then slot it like this for the manual mode because generally it's much easier to just drive the car and just put it like this to start the drive but here you need to be precise one two three four come here and then skip it there for the drive mode so that is one concern there so another thing that I want to point out is the uh, position the driving position and see I won't tell that it's a very commanding position or something just because you see the point doesn't mean the position is commanding so this is uh, good enough for uh, SUV standards of uh, this size because it's not a full-fledged robust 70 seater massive monstrous SUV as such you can see the complete bonnet full means full bonnet also the seat adjustment is there and that is manual and still I can see the complete bonnet left to right right to left I can see the full red color bonnet here which is a very good thing in manualing this car inside tight parking spaces not just in tight spaces it gives you that extra confidence that you need Right quality is compliant at the front and rear and the SUV handles uneven roads well. On larger potholes and sharp edges, you will definitely feel the firmness of suspension although it's nowhere as stiff as the competitors. On bad roads, the Brezza is more comfortable than its rivals and it just improves with speeds on highway. You don't even have to slow down on broken roads and speed breakers which are small. There is some amount of bounciness at the back and roads which are not straight and which are wavy but it's not as noticeable as you would think. It's a very clean and neutral handler with very predictable behavior. Body roll is also well controlled, but it's of course more than a regular hatchback or sedan. In a nutshell, this is a much planted machine that feels solid and implies a lot of confidence when you're doing triple digit speeds on the highway. The best part being the first time drivers will feel that it's a very easy SUV to drive especially with a lighter steering which grows up with speeds. I'll conclude this review with a very short story, a real world story. I was driving one of the review cars recently. The car broke down at 2 o'clock at night just 35 kilometers away from Bangalore. And for the RSA, for the roadside assistance to arrive for the 35 kilometers, I had to wait till 11 in the morning. That's because there was a dearth of service centers of that manufacturer. It just had 3-4 service centers in Bangalore and that caused a big, big trouble. But that's when I realized that, you know, service centers are very, very important when you are buying a car. No matter what it is, no matter how much of digitization have we achieved, but physical service centers are very, very important. The key mantra for this homegrown manufacturer to have a market share of more than 40-45% today is this reliable cars, maximum service centers and yes, relatively affordable prices while still being fuel efficient that said, there were people who thought that Maruti cars were not safe there were people who thought that no, I'm not going to buy a Maruti car because it just gets two airbags I think there is a solution for that right now with the Brezza getting six airbags a big thumbs up to Maruti on that and finally, this manufacturer has realized that yes we need features and they have plugged in everything possible that said 
it still misses out on things like leather seats. It still has some old school tacky buttons for those trip meters. I think it's high time that those are replaced. That's about it. It's an overall package. Brezza is more of, you know, jack of all and master of none. If you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. Take care and goodbye.